Run on Friday, December 19th. Angela Danes, head cheerleader, first in line for valedictorian, yearbook editor, homecoming queen, and all-around popular teen, was mysteriously pushed down the stairs in the stairwell just outside the front office. While she was not mortally wounded, she did suffer from two broken legs, three cracked ribs, and a traumatic brain injury. Angela was conscious when the ambulance arrived and was able to talk to the assistant principal about what happened. She wasn't able to see who pushed her since it was done from behind, but she knows a few people who may have wanted to hurt her, and she gave those names to assistant principal Bell. Then she was taken away by ambulance and put into a temporary drug-induced coma while her injuries healed. By 10.30 a.m., Mr. Bell had all the suspects in the library waiting for the police to arrive to begin their investigation. It's time to interview the suspects. I need you guys to be taking notes of key information that you hear from each suspect because I'm going to need your guys' help to solve this case. My name is Kelly Kennedy, 426 Rose Lane. How did you know Angela? Angela and I were on the same cheer team. We've been friends since third grade. Not best friends, but still friends. Where were you during the incident? I was in the back stairwell, waiting for Dawson. He texted me to meet him there. Is this the same Dawson that was dating Angela? Yeah, we've kind of been texting behind Angela's back for the past three months. How did Dawson's relationship with Angela make you feel? Obviously, I wanted to date Dawson, but I wouldn't go that far. Have you had any arguments recently with Angela? No. Who do you think pushed Angela? I think it was Dawson. He texted me to meet him in the back stairwell, and he never showed up. All right, well, thank you for your time. You're dismissed. For the record, please state your name and address. My name is Jamie Jennings, and I live on 413 Floral Court. How do you know Angela? Uh, she used to be a friend of mine, but you know, we don't really talk anymore. Where were you during the scene of the crime? I was skipping class with Nick and Dylan. Have you had any issues or arguments with Angela recently? No, I have not had any arguments with Angela lately. So from where you were, you were fairly close to what the, where the crime happened. Did you hear anything? I heard lots of commotion. So that's when I ran over and see what happened. When you ran over to see what happened, you saw... Angela had already fallen down the stairs. She was just laying there. Who do you think pushed Angela? I think it was Dawson, because their relationship has been really rocky. Alright, you're dismissed. Thank you for your time. Thank you, officer. For the record, please state your name and address. Uh, yeah, I'm Will Williams. I live at 2014 Forest Hill Drive. How well do you know Angela? Uh, well, I knew her really well in middle school. Uh, we were really good friends. We actually dated, but now we've kind of gone distance because she uh, is a cheerleader. And how does that make you feel? Uh, really okay. We actually uh, worked on a science project last week, so... Where were you during the scene of the crime? Well, I was actually in 208 with uh, Kelly, and I stepped out to go to the bathroom, and I was in the bathroom for a while, and then I heard the commotion, so I stepped out. Are you academically driven? Well, obviously, I'm intelligent, so I've been working to get a scholarship to go to college. How do you feel about what happened to her? Uh, yeah, it's a tragedy, but it goes on. Who do you think pushed Angela? Personally, I really think that it's Kelly, because I saw her, I was, I was behind her in 208, and I was saw him, uh, her texting Dawson, and I know that Dawson's uh, girlfriend is Angela, so there might be some, something there you need to look into. And did you happen to see what the text said? Uh, yeah, I'm nosy, so I saw it said, meet in the back stairwell. Interesting. Well, thank you for your time. You're dismissed. state your name and address. My name's Heather Hill and I live on 323 Skyline Drive. How well did you know Angela? Um, I've actually gotten to become really close friends with her for this past year because our, bo our boyfriends are best friends. Where were you when the incident occurred? 
Um, I happen to be in the downstairs girls' bathroom with Shelby, and she was bawling her eyes out due to a recent uh, hazing scheme that Angela pulled off on her. Can you go into a little bit more detail about this hazing scheme? So from what she told me, she purposely let her fall in front of everyone during a pep assembly so she would look like a fool. So it's fair to say that based off what you've told me so far that this deeply upset Shelby, is that correct? Correct. As she was leaving the bathroom, she actually said that she would plan to get back at her. Did she say where she was going by chance? Actually, I don't know, because once she stormed out, the whole Angela incident happened and I never heard back from Shelby. Who do you think pushed Angela? Honestly, it could be Shelby, but I prefer not to throw my friends under the bus, but who knows. Interesting. Well, thank you. Riker, please state your name and address. My name is Donna Dempsey, address 813 Pinecone Road. How do you know Angela? We're not really close. I mean, we have a couple classes. I like to kind of keep to myself in school. Where were you when the incident happened? I was in room 208, the computer lab, working on some school newspaper stuff. Who was in room 208 with you? Honestly, I wasn't paying too much attention, but I know that both Will and Kelly were in there. Did you see either of them leave the room by chance? Yeah, I saw both of them leave. I think Will asked to use the bathroom and Kelly got a text message and ran out. How do you feel about what happened to Angela? I mean, obviously, I feel horrible, but there's not too much I can do about it. Can Will or Kelly prove that you were in the computer lab at that time? I don't know if they could, but I have a computer system. It's password protected, so I would be able to log in and show you that I was there during that time. Who do you think pushed Angela? I'm really not too sure, but my guess would have to be either Will or Kelly. They seem to both leave at the perfect time. All right, you're dismissed. Thank you for your time. Please state your name and address. My name is Chad Cooper, and my address is 5813 Tomlinson Drive. How well do you know Angela? You know, I don't really know Angela that well, but she's dating my best friend Dawson. How do you feel about what happened to Angela? It was a tragedy what happened to Angela. Where were you when the incident occurred? I was in the weight room, getting my lift on during study hall. Is there anyone that can attest to your alibi, or were you in there by yourself? I was in there with Michael. Dawson was supposed to be there too, but didn't show. Do you have any idea where Dawson was? I do not know where Dawson was. How academically driven are you? I get mainly B's and C's, but I'm on scholarship to play football in college. I take it you didn't hear anything from where you were then? No, officer. All I heard were Michael's groans and moans. All right, then. Uh, do you think anyone pushed Angela? Do you have any idea who did? No, I got no idea who pushed Angela. All right, well, you're dismissed. For the record, please state your name and address. Yeah, I'm, I'm Michael Murray, 319 Red Road. How do you know Angela? Uh, well, I know her from class, but I asked her out a while ago. Uh, she rejected me, but that's just how it is. I just asked her out to be nice, but I get it. It didn't work out. How did that make you feel? Well, I've always kind of held it against her, but I really just did it for attention, you know what I mean? Where were you when the incident occurred? Yeah, I was in the weight room, just beating Chad in some weightlifting competitions. So Chad can attest to your moaning and groaning at the weight room, is that correct? Sure, if you want to call it moaning and groaning, but I heard more moaning and groaning out of Chad because his girlfriend, Heather, was supposed to be in there with us and she wasn't, so you should check that out. Did you hear any commotion? I'll be ready to just like play some music, don't hear anything. Who do you think pushed Angela? Well, I definitely don't think it was Dawson, because he's just been complaining about Angela. I don't think he would do it. I know him. He's a hard worker. But it could be Heather, so. All right. Well, thank you for your time. You're dismissed. Yeah. Summers 
Sanders. I live on 316 Rainbow Road. How well do you know Angela? I was on the cheer team with her. I mean, we were friends. Not super close. I just quit the cheer team. Though. Any particular reason why you quit the cheer team? Honestly, I just didn't really like it anymore. I think I'm going to try field hockey. Had any arguments or disagreements with Angela recently? No, I haven't. I was actually on my way to turn in my uniform and she was super nice about it. Where were you when the incident occurred? I was walking down the hallway towards the gym to go give her my uniform. You know that she'd be at the gym? Yeah, she told me to meet her there. Would you say you're academically driven? Not really. I mean, you know, Angela was always just a lot smarter than me. I tried my best. Who do you think pushed Angela? I think it could have been Kelly. I was walking to go to the gym, and I saw her looking really suspicious, looking around, looking at her phone. Just a little off to me. Interesting. Well, thank you for your time, Mr. Shelby Shelberson, 1469 Westside Road. Where were you when Angela was pushed down the stairs? I was in the downstairs bathroom with my friend. Who were you in the bathroom with? Uh, my friend Heather. Uh, we were just talking about like the prank uh, that Angela just pulled on me. It was so mean. And how did that make you feel? Uh, horrible. Like, who would do that? Oh, jeez. I bet that had to have made you angry. Emotional, so it was just so rude. Emotional enough to want to push her down the stairs, some may say? Uh, no, I could never do that, but I think I know who might have. Who do you think may have pushed her? Yeah, I think it was Heather's boyfriend, Chad, because he just always complains about Angela, and he's never liked her. All right, you're dismissed. Thank you for your time. Now that I've interviewed all the suspects, it's time for you to put the pieces together and figure out who was the one that pushed Angela down the stairs. Good luck.